on? My name is Marf Gaming, and welcome back to another Modern Combat 5 video. Sorry for the absence. Uh, I've actually been banned from Modern Combat 5 for two weeks, and uh, luckily my two weeks has been up. So I am back with some more Modern Combat 5 Sapper content. Uh, today I'm running with the MESN and the Stun Turret. They're both Tier 2 and MK2, fully upgraded as well. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat to skip this gun. Now on the other hand, the turret's pretty good if you know how to use it. Uh, if you can place it well and predict your enemy movement, then or movement, sorry, uh, then uh, the stun turret is really good, especially with tier three, which I do have, uh, and I will be doing a review on later. But right now, I'm focusing on the tier two, which is the MESM. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys this: uh, it is the worst gun in Modern Combat 5. I cannot believe why they've added this in. They did buff the damage a bit, um, but overall, I've, I've seen no buff or anything significant whatsoever it's absolutely terrible worst gun in modern combat 5 skip it entirely now i understand that you do have to unlock this gun before you unlock the tier 3 which is the ticker uh, and that's pretty unfortunate because this gun again as i said is absolutely terrible now on the other hand if you are tier or i'm sorry if you're not tier uh if you're about level 20 or level 30 possibly and below then i'd say this gun is pretty good um, or for, at least if you're going up against people who aren't, you know, so good, but the tier one is just so much better. Uh, I, I just don't understand why the tier one is so much better than this gun. Uh, because first of all, the accuracy is amazing on the tier one. And not only that, it's just easier to get kills with, with the auto aim. And this gun has terrible accuracy, terrible damage. I've honestly, when I'm playing this, uh, playing with this gun, I feel like I'm shooting, uh, just BB darts, <laughs> BB darts, BB, uh, Bullets, is that how you BB thingies? I don't know. It's terrible. I cannot kill anybody. The accuracy is bad. You cannot equip uh, any sort of uh, foregrip on. Now, I do have to say, the gun looks pretty cool, <laughs> but it performs terribly. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just, I can't stress this enough. Skip this gun at all costs. Don't use it. Continue using the AAW1 until you get a better gun, uh, as the ticker is so much better than this gun anyway. Uh, so, yeah, as I said before, I will be doing a review on the ticker. It is so much better than the MESN. And this guy just walked right in front of me. Uh, but, yeah, it, it is. It honestly is. There's no way you're going to get you know, decently, uh, decently good kills or kill streaks with the MESN. It's terrible. And I, I just want to call out someone, uh, Joker Gaming. If you guys are subscribed to me, you'll probably be subscribed to him. He, I don't know why, but he said this gun is good. And you know what? Maybe he knows how to use it, and maybe I don't. Um, but honestly, it's your guys' opinion. Uh, again, as I said before, you have to unlock this gun if you want to unlock the higher tier guns. So just go beside me and Joker. Um, in my opinion, I think it's the worst gun in Modern Combat 5. Uh, he said that it's a good balance between good and bad, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why there's, there is a balance. Um, I guess you could say OP, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I... I guess I said before, it's a terrible gun in my opinion. Do not use it if you're possibly above silver. I think that's one of the ranks. Um, yeah, I can't even kill an enemy. He's 50% health, or 44% health. So yeah, again, if you're possibly below level 30, then maybe this gun is good. Uh, and by good, I mean because the other people are so bad, then maybe it'll you know work. But uh, as you guys can see right now, it's just taking me forever to kill anybody. My KD is 9 and 11, which is terrible. So yeah, just avoid this gun at all costs if you're like somewhat of a good player. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next review. See ya.